Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good evening and welcome to the Paramount here in Huntington, New York for the Rockin' Fights 23 featured bout of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing, sponsored by Model Sporting Goods, Gotta Go to Moe's, Camelot Limousine, The Inn at Fox Hollow, WBAB 102.3, Power Play and Picard Chiropractic, where they fight for your health right here in Huntington, Picard Chiropractic. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman Tom Hoover, Commissioner John Signorelli, Director of Boxing Eric Bentley. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside, John McKay, Kevin Morgan, and Carlos Ortiz Jr. At the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, Eddie Claudio. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in the cruiserweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Fernando Mays. He wears the blue and silver. He weighed in at 175.4 pounds. His professional record, 14 victories against four defeats. He has one draw and 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from the Paraná state of Brazil, and now living and fighting out of Tustela Gutierrez, Chiapas, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fabian, the Pitbull Pena. Pena. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, standing with head trainer Jerry Capabianco. He wears the black and green. He weighed in at a ready 175.2 pounds. His professional record, 20 victories, only one defeat. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout. From Mastic, New York, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Irish Bomber, the beast from the East, Cho Smith Jr. Smith Jr. Go. Okay, Joe, your chunks are good, Fabian. Your cup is a little high. So, Joe, up to the line, okay? You know the rules, obey my commands, and protect yourself at all times. Let's have a good one. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for 10 rounds, light heavyweight division. Joe Smith Jr. in the green trunks, one of the hardest single shot hitters in the light heavyweight division, and the veteran Fabiano Pena. Yeah, we're in for a treat tonight. We've got one of the best light heavyweights in the world, coming from Mastic Shirley, one of the most brutalist blue collar towns there is on Long Island, the same town that I'm from, and he's gonna come in here, he's gonna fight. Uh, going back to uh, Joe Smith, this is the best shape I've ever seen him, the most consistent he is, and the most focused he's ever been. Coming off of the biggest fight of his life with Will Rosinski. No question about it. And that fight against Will Rosinski that you mentioned, that took place last uh, January. And he won a 10-round decision in that fight, never looked better in his life. He's gonna look the best tonight. Even though he, he looked fantastic, he didn't even look better now. I've never seen him work so hard and be so dedicated like he is now. The thing that that fight with Rosinski showed me, because so many people think that Joe Smith is only a slugger. He showed everybody that he can box as well as slug that night. Absolutely, he can do both, but he chooses to bang because that's what the people want, and that's what his heart tells him. He, like I said, he comes from the same water I come from, and that, that's that, that breeding, one of hard-working kind of fight. That's the kind of fights we like to win, and that's the kind of fights we kind of like to fight, just like the people where, uh, where we come from. And let me just tell you about that one loss on his record. That took place in August of 2010 against Eddie Caminero. On a fourth round TKO, he had his jaw broken in two places oh. in that fight. Joe Smith down Mr. Rose, and he's pounding on him right now. Pena knows how to survive 
Let me tell you something. He went into the back door of two Mexican fighters look in the last him. year and beat look at him. them both. Wow. Wow, look at this. this is, he's coming out so strong. I, I think they both kind of got tired after the, that uh, exchange. But like you said earlier, Joe Smith's only loss came from a, a, a guy where he broke his jaw. He had, he had to get seven and a half hours of reconstructive surgery on his jaw. Amazing. First round, the jaw was shattered on both sides. How he even lasted through that round into the second, third, and fourth is just beyond me. Insane. Insane. It, and he wasn't the one that stopped it. It was it was the, the referee that stopped it. It wasn't even uh, the, the fighter. That, that was. That's the kind of heart and the kind of kind of fight you're getting, and that's the kind of fight you're getting right now. Cletus, did I hear you say that it was the water in Shirley? Oh, that, that water in Shirley, it makes these fighters <laughs> incredible. Look at him. He, he is a beast. The pit bull is not going to stand there and get beaten up by Joe Smith. He's going to come back with shots of his own. But Joe Smith just unloading on him as Pena keeps his hands up here in the first round. Gonna get saved by the bell. End of round number one in a typical Joe Smith first round war. Amazing. It's crazy. This is only the first round. Only the first round. He's just so strong, you know. I don't. Is it? Is it the way he trains? Like, what makes him so? Much? It's the water. It's the water. Okay, <laughs> I forgot. Now say what you want about Joe Smith. At times he can be crude, but take a look at this action from round number he's one. He's putting it on him. He gets up against the ropes and he's continuing to bang him away. Pena has good defense, so he's keeping it there and he's making Joe Smith work and he's coming back firing it with him, which is beautiful. Some more action as Joe Smith in green tries to pin the pit bull against the rope. The pit bull playing defense there. Lucky for him, picking those most of those shots off. Some of them getting through. Let's see what happens here in round number two. The pit bull looks very fresh, not hurt at all. Not at all, like you said, and he has fighting him. You can see the way he's throwing those punches. He wants to take his head off as well. I don't think Smith got wobbled on that shot. It was like he was oh a little bit God. off balance. Yeah, that's it. All is off balance. Look at how hard Joe Smith could throw that left hook from that angle. When I was an amateur, he was an amateur too. And he hit the, the, the coach in the body with a shield on, and he broke the guy's ribs, and he had a he had a six-inch pad on him. He broke the coach's rib. Yeah, he can punch. And of course, the light heavyweight division, which has guys like Kovalev and Adonis Stevenson who can punch. I don't know if they hit any harder. They might be better than Joe Smith, but I don't know if they punch any harder. Well, how do you Smith. see him fair, him faring in the light heavyweight division, Randy? I think he needs more fights uh, just to get some seasoning in there. But he can, uh, he's got the stamina, he's got the boxing ability, but man, this guy loves to slug. Absolutely, and that's what's the benefit of, of him at going there. He might not be ready for Kovalev, but you can put him in a Kovalev fight because it's gonna be that exciting. Yeah. Who's not gonna wanna see those two monsters hit each other? And like you said, Joe Smith, probably one of the strongest light heavyweights in the world, and he has the cojones to back it up. As you can see him boxing now, he, like you said earlier, he can do a little bit of both. Yep. He's boxing, he's punching, he's in shape, he has it tonight. And he's got an incredible power jab. Even when he's backing up, that jab is enough to stop a man's retreat, uh, pressure of him. Absolutely. What, he, what I would like to see him do is go to a little body a little bit more, but uh, and, and try to find the openings. I know he likes to create the openings, but if he could find it a little bit, it, it, would, it would definitely make it a little bit easier for him, but he's coming in just like he is a beast. Remember in the Pitbulls, Fabiano the Pitbull Pena, 16-4 record in his 16 wins. 12 of those wins have come by TKO or flat out KO. Yeah, and his opponents that he lost to had a incredible records. He's always been the, just the opponent. And he comes out here and he can prove that he's been going to everyone's backyard and he's been fighting his his tail off every time. One guy that Pena lost to last March, it was a year ago, he fought the highly touted Russian, Vyacheslav Shabronsky, who's about 15 and 0, who stopped him in round five. Look at him, he's throwing those combinations. 
Pena not throwing the back. The fight is stopped. Stop. Yeah. The referee stopped yeah. it. Yeah. You cannot stand there and just take shot after shot. And he is wobbled a little bit. It was a very good stop on the part of Eddie Claudio. Very good stop. That's excellent. He gave him the time. He gave him the time. And the, the fighter would not go back. He might have threw 30, 40 punches right there. All hard shots. And Penny just sat down the ropes waiting. Let's take a look at the shots that ended this, Cletus. Here he comes. What started all off was that uppercut. When he started digging that uppercut, that's when Pena couldn't use that peekaboo style that we saw all night that all the other fighters were doing. And again, the uppercut again, because he was throwing that peekaboo style. I bet you his trainers told him to do that, and it worked out beautifully. And he literally sat here, and he banged on him until the referee stopped. That's the kind of heart, that's the kind of discipline he, he's got into. Watch the ref jump in. I think he has some nerve because, like, you know, who wants to get hit by Joe Smith? Like, yeah. you know, he just jumps in. I, I don't know. Yeah, I give, don't some, give some credit to Joe uh, uh, Forty for jumping in there. There he's were 29 off. unanswered punches. Eddie Claudio had no choice but to stop that fight. Let's get up to ring announcer David Diamante and, and make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eddie Claudio calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 38 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO from Mastic, New York, the Irish Bomber, the Beast from the East, Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr. with another power hack performance. This guy just throws bombs, Cletus, every punch he throws. Every punch, like you said, every punch is on the mark. And what I liked the most about it was the variety. He went to the body and then he started, and the, and the, the, uh, the, the longer shots weren't working, so he started digging underneath and started landing those uppercuts. And that's the way he started working for him. And Tara Casanova with Joe DeGuardia and Joe Smith. So the Joes are with our Tara. And she's ready to go right now. Tara Casanova. As soon as Joe finishes flex. Congratulations, Joe, on a tremendous knockout. Did you think that you were going to knock him out that fast? Um, honestly, no, I thought it was going to go a few more rounds than that, but uh, we did our homework. I knew a good jab and a lot of combinations. I would get him out of there early tonight. And, uh, you know, I worked hard, real hard, this training camp. I stayed busy, so this is how I expected it to go. You can see the hard work in there, Joe. What's next for you? Um, I don't know yet. My team is going to get together with Joe DeGuardia after the fight. I mean, after tonight and uh, figure it out. Well, congratulations again. Look forward to seeing more knockouts like that. And I want to give a shout out to John's Pizza, Cap's Pizza, and to all my fans for coming out and supporting me. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Kara. Well, what a show this has been. Joe Smith with a big second round knockout and also Anthony Carr Paris with a big win tonight for the junior welterweight title. We want to thank you for watching Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing for Kara Castronova and Cletus Selden. I'm Randy G, the commissioner. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have yourself a great night.